Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up the game and we met Tails and we got a couple, or we got one Chaos Emerald and we learned that Dr. Robotnik is after all of the other Chaos Emeralds in order to feed them to Chaos, who is a god of destruction that will destroy everything in his path. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and go into the casino. So, you got to press this button, and then a ring, a trail of rings will lead you right up to the button. An interesting thing that I didn't know is if you stand, like, right at the entrance, then the camera will pan up to the casino sign. That's neat. I'll probably use this for the thumbnail of the video. Anyway, stage number three, Casinopolis. This one's not got a nice chill atmosphere. Anyways, this one is all about pinball. We have to collect 400 rings in order to get to the Chaos Emerald. And we have to do that by playing pinball. I'll try to play to the best of my ability here, but knowing how I am whenever I record videos, I'll probably suck at this. Again, this part is barely a pop problem for me whenever I play through it normally, but I absolutely suck whenever I record Let's Plays. I guess it's just because I'm commentating and trying to be at least somewhat interesting while I'm playing through the game and that's distracting me. So an interesting thing you can do is if you, if you move the stick in any direction, it'll start shaking the pinball table like this, and so you can use that to your advantage to move the pinball around. Gosh dang it. Sonic seems to have a history with pinball because in Sonic 2, there was uh, the casino level which had pinball flippers, or was that Sonic 3? I'll, I'll get back to that thought in a second. Whenever you get less than a hundred rings while you're playing pinball, you get thrown into the gutters. Or the dumpster, I guess, or whichever this place is. And this allows you to collect a lot of rings. I'll fly up here. You want to be careful during these hallway sections because Around the corners, you might see some rings, and sometimes there are these little spike enemies that can make you lose all your rings. As a, as is the Sonic staple, if you lose your ring, if you get hit, you lose your rings, but you can pick them back up. We've already got 231 rings. This stage shouldn't, shouldn't be much of an issue. There are two different pinball tables. One is the Sonic pinball table, which is what we just saw, where not only is it pinball, it's also a slot machine, where if you get it into a certain hole, uh, you play the slots, and depending on what you get, you'll either gain rings or lose rings. So what do you do with all of your rings once you get kicked out? What you want to do is head over to this area, which uh, is over to the left of the Sonic slot machine. And you want to head through these doors and stand on this button right here. The little arms come down and shake the rings out of you, and you have to go off and get some more rings. I'll go ahead and show off the other pinball table as well. So, if the first pinball table table is based off of Sonic, what's the other pinball table based off of? This pinball table is based off of Knights, another Sega property, which, uh, I don't know if it had multiple games or if it just had one game. I know that they released a game for the Dreamcast, I think, and I've never personally played it myself, but, uh, I can't really say anything about the reviews either, because I haven't heard anything about the reviews. I haven't really heard anything about this game. Knights, I mean, not Sonic Adventure. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, for some reason, Sonic seems to have a past with pinball, because there is the flippers in 
Sonic 2 and maybe Sonic 3. I don't remember. But uh, there was also Sonic Spinball, which according to Ian Flynn, a current writer for the series, that game is canon, which I find funny. And then there's this, and then there's also another pinball game for the DS called Sonic Pinball Party. So just something interesting. I guess since Sonic can roll into a ball and, you know, pinball table, I guess, it has to do with, you know, balls. That sounded weird, but lots of other sports have to do with, you know, balls. The, 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 sentence, the sentences I keep saying are weird, but let's just keep playing pinball. I, well, we won't be able to keep playing pinball if I keep playing like that, but... So the whole gimmick with this one, if slots was the the gimmick for the previous uh, pinball table, the gimmick for this one is cards. You keep getting cards whenever you pass by them, and if you get a two of a kind or a three of a kind or a full house or whatever, you guys know cards, then you get extra rings. I don't have much to say here, so I'll just let you guys listen to the music. So sometimes you can get sent to uh, an alternate dimension, I guess, <laughs> pinball table, and it has a ton of cards, so you can rack up a bunch of rings there. And then once you get sent out of that table, then you pass by knights here and get sent back to the original table. Not only is this place great for rings, it's also great for lives. Lives don't matter too much because if you die, you just retry the level again and... Man, I suck at this game whenever I let's play it. I suck at this game when I let's play it. Jeez, uh, my luck was just not good with this one, but if you get more than 100 rings, you just get sent to the front right here, and you can stand on the button, get your rings shook out of you. Once you've got over 400 rings, you get the Chaos Emerald. to that emerald we just had. Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. And that guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Indeed we do, and an interesting little detail. I know I, I love how I say it, we need to get busy, and then I immediately stop to talk about an Easter egg. In the DX versions of this game, uh, right here in this area, after you beat Cassinopolis, Cream the Rabbit shows up and flies through the sky for a little bit. She's a character that first appeared in Sonic Advance 2 and then became a sort of series mainstay. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. An interesting theory is that the Miss the uh, uh, Station Square, sorry, and the Mystic Ruins are the same place where Sonic Advance 2 and Sonic Rush take place because I don't know the full specifics behind it and also that side of the island just blew up. 
But I don't know the specifics of it, but I'll leave a link in the description for a website called Sonic Lore Posting, which is personally one of my favorite Sonic websites. It's basically just where this person keeps track of everything shown in the games or said by, you know, the creative staff or writers. You want to take the stone from Station Square and place it right here in this area. This will open up the door and allow us to go into, personally not one of my favorite levels, Ice Cap Zone. So, I'll go ahead and... An interesting thing about this area is that there is a normal way to go through here, and then there's a cool way to go through here. And now, I'm gonna show how I like to skip through this level, and then I'll go back and actually play through it normally. So you saw there, I spin dash jumped all the way up here, and then I like to climb on top of here, and then spin dash jump up here. You can see where I'm going with this. And if you're having trouble with, with doing the spin dash jump up here... Oh, got it. You just want to walk along, and then hold forward, because there's an automated section there. And then use the panels, and then after you hit forward, stop... After you uh, press A on the fourth panel, stop pressing A, because if you keep spamming A, then there's a chance you might accidentally jump and homing attack, which will send you off the ledge. Anyways, now we're almost at the end of the stage, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna restart real quick. Crud. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'll show you how to get through this the intended way. Also, an interesting thing to note about Ice Cap Zone is that it has the same name as a zone from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is a great game, but another interesting thing to note is that Mystic Ruins is right next to Angel Island, which is something we'll get more into in Knuckles' story, but anyways, this is how you're supposed to get up to this ledge by using that rocket right, right there. And then once you get over here, you're supposed to jump off the side here. And then hit the spring and start making your way up. You have to use these ice, the uh, stalactites right here to jump from one area to the next. Sorry for the cut there, I was just going through my notes real quick. So, an interesting thing about this game's creation is it was originally supposed to be an RPG. It was codenamed Sonic RPG, and then this isn't where I'm supposed to be. It was codenamed Sonic RPG, and they later did make an RPG, uh, but then they got sued for it by a certain person that I won't mention because I don't want to get sued myself. But anyways, uh, it would have been interesting to see how they handled a Sonic RPG back then. That's not what I was supposed to do. I'm, I'm a fool. wonder if I can... there's a way that I can... Oh hey, you can! You can spin dash jump up the wall to... You can spin dash jump up the wall in order to skip past the icicle section, which is probably... The icicle stuff is probably why I don't like this level this much, because it's extremely slow and tedious. And slow and tedious levels is exactly why people didn't like the, like some of the levels in Sonic 1 and Sonic CD too much, because they were a bit slow, whereas in games like Sonic 2 and 3 and Knuckles, thanks to Call by the way for that advice, whereas in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, they had much faster paces with no speed cap, and plus they had supersonic, which makes the game even faster. Anyways, after all that, we're finally back here, onto the last section of the level.
and wouldn't be ice cap zone without a bit of snowboarding. So now we're on the run from this big avalanche behind us. And I've never really been good at, like, there are ramps around here, but I'm never really good at uh, knowing where they are. And so I just get caught on them and they slow me down more than anything. There's probably like some sort of indicator that I just don't know about. But anyways, now that we're away from the avalanche, the Chaos Emerald is conveniently this way, so we'll just keep heading down the mountain. And yeah, an interesting funny little story I have about this section is that uh, at the very end of this level, there's a part where there's a lower path and an upper path that you can take. And the upper path I usually take during my playthroughs. And one time when I was younger, I was uh, going through the top path, and I forget if it was during Sonic's story or Tails' story, but I was playing through it, and I got to the very end, and I somehow, I don't know how, but I somehow shot, like overshot my way to the Chaos Emerald and just completely went past it. I don't, I've only ever been able to recreate it once, and I'm not sure how I did it. I'll see if I can try to do it here, but knowing how bad I am at this game whenever I play through it while commentating. Ah, no, I couldn't do it. Either way, though, we get to the very end of here and we get our second Chaos Emerald. Or at least our second Chaos Emerald that's currently in our possession. Yeah, not bad. So now that we're done with Ice Cap Zone, we're about to get to a uh, back-to-back -back string of boss fights and levels, so I think this is probably a good place to end off the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and try to get more Chaos Emeralds. Uh, Dr. Eggman, or Robot Nick, or however you want to say it. I'll just say whichever one comes to mind first, but Dr. Robot Nick has two Emeralds, and we have two, and there are three that have yet to be discovered. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.